Carpe diem. Enjoy the present. Life is happening to you right here, right now. So be mindful and carpe diem. The aim of this video is my attempt to ponder over this Latin phrase, carpe diem, and my personal interpretation of what it means without going into the historical context of this phrase. Why carpe diem? Why did this phrase come into being? By inference, we understand that probably it was difficult to enjoy the present moment when they uttered this phrase, and probably even today this phrase is relevant because human mind, being perpetually fickle, cannot live in the present moment. Children and animals live in the present moment, then why can't youthful and adult minds live in the present? Why do they need reminding of this phrase? My understanding is that these youthful and older minds have traversed time and space and have accumulated experiences, pleasant, good, bad, or maybe outright horrible experiences. These experiences get imprinted on the mind in the forms of memories, and these memories stick to the mind like flies stick to sweet fruits. It's very difficult to separate them. They are constantly present. Mind cannot shake them off and just be aware of the present moment. These memories are always buzzing around, and with any small stimulus or a trigger in the present moment, these memories drag the mind into the good or bad experiences of the past. When this happens, the mind relishes the good experiences of the past, ignoring the present. And if memories evoke bad experiences, the mind tries to escape them by fantasizing a happy future, thus again ignoring the present. Thus, the mind gets trapped between the experienced past and the imagined fanciful future. Getting the mind to stay in the present moment is akin to walking on a rope with few parts on the head. Very difficult and needs utmost attention. Children and animals escape this process, hence manage to live in the present. They don't need to be reminded of carpe diem, they are actually doing that. Fickle mind Mind heavy with experiences falls into various biases to operate in the calculative world. Mind guards itself against new experiences and refuses to open up for the new possibilities. It is very hard for the mind to get rid of all those memories and open up to new experiences, be a blank slate for a moment, and then open to new sensations, new ideas, new visuals, and be like a child to admire everything as if the mind is witnessing it for the first time with a sense of wonder, without diluting it with the past memories. As mentioned earlier, as the mind gets old, as it traverses through time and space, the familiarity with the surrounding world blunts the mind to the sense of novelty and the mind becomes biased to operate in the calculative world. Everything the mind experiences in this stage, the mind tries to interpret it. Every new sensation, new visual, mind tries to interpret it through past memories. That's why new memories don't get formed. It's always in the reference of the remote or recent past memories. That's why, as we age, it feels like time has speeded up without us doing much with it. Unfortunately, it's not the time, it's us. We are failing our minds to be alive and aware in each moment, to experience each moment with a refreshed mind, see every visual with a new pair of eyes, feel everything around with acuteness in our senses. Instead, the mind interprets, reasons, analyzes, philosophizes to find profundity in its experiences, and in all these attempts, the mind fails to be aware of the present moment. How often you're reading something, the eyes follow the written words, but the mind is wandering somewhere else. That's mind being fickle. How not to carpe diem? Carpe diem does not mean succumb to your baser urges and work hard to fulfill those baser bodily urges, no. Filling your belly even when you're full, saying to yourself, carpe diem, it's pure foolishness. Gluttony is not carpe diem. Seducing a married woman just to prove your manliness, saying to yourself, carpe diem, is foolishness. Satisfaction of lust is not carpe diem. Unreasonable drunkenness in the name of enjoyment, saying to yourself, carpe diem, is foolishness. Addiction is not carpe diem. Putting your life at risk in the name of adventure is not carpe diem. 
not fulfilling your duties and wasting the time in laziness, saying to yourself, carpe diem is foolishness. Sloth is not carpe diem. All activities that degrade the body and mind in the long term, no matter how much short-term pleasure they provide, doing them in the name of carpe diem is foolishness. Anything that degrades the body and mind is not carpe diem. How to carpe diem? To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wildflower, hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. These are a few lines from William Blake's poem, Auguries of Innocence. These lines encapsulate how the mind should work. This is the gist of Carpe Diem. Carpe Diem doesn't mean you sit in a meditative pose, being observant of your surroundings, being serious and analytical and sober and all. No, Carpe Diem means having a card game with family and friends, enjoying the game, not minding who wins or loses, just having a hearty laugh at every game. That's Carpe Diem. Listening with attention to that lark singing, that's carpe diem. Sitting quietly with your friends, soaking that sunlight, looking vacuously into nothing, that's carpe diem. Observing those colorful tender wings of that butterfly and marveling at the colors, that's carpe diem. Relaxing at the window on summer evening as the sun goes down and cool breeze starts, that's carpe diem. Watching those waves forming on the seawater and then gradually merging into sea, that's carpe diem. Observing how the wind disturbs those delicate ripples on the surface of lake water, that's carpe diem. Watch that infant suckling her mother, a new life being nourished and a tender human bond being formed, that's carpe diem. Playing with that infant, that's carpe diem. Sitting on that hay wagon after a day's work, relaxing your body and mind and feeling the cool wind, that's carpe diem. Watching the red flames of fire burning that logwood, that's carpe diem. Taking time to smell that aroma of the first flowers of the season. That's carpe diem. Taking time to admire those last flowers of the season before they vanish. That's carpe diem. In short, all activities that help us expand our awareness, our curiosity and our sense of gratitude towards existence, doing them is carpe diem. How many of us take a day off from work just to spend time watching the sunrise and then spend the rest of the day observing how the color of the sky changes, watching clouds float by, sensing the wind brushing our skin? How many of us take a day off to do that? Remember, life is happening to you right here, right now. So be mindful and carpe diem. Thank you for your attention.